Hallo, wir sind hier von Rote Fahne TV mit einem Interview mit Chatura Gunatilaka von der Frontline Socialist Party Sri Lanka. Du bist ja hier für die Feierlichkeiten 40 Jahre MLPD. Wie hat es dir bisher gefallen? Uh, so actually, uh, first of all, I would like to thank the MLPD for organizing uh, such an event. Uh, it's a historical event. Uh, it is not easy to continue this uh, revolutionary work for 40 years um, and develop in uh, different, different, different aspects. And uh, uh, it's, I should thank the MLPD as well uh, for inviting us here to take part uh, in this um, anniversary, 40th anniversary. And especially I want to uh, say that uh, uh, I, I've seen that uh, Uh, many things like uh, because uh, different different people from different different continents participated and you have been providing all the necessity necessary um, uh, facilities for them especially when we are building up uh, international movement it is very important to uh, come you know provide facilities like translating into different different languages and uh, all these uh, detailed things I don't want to mention but uh, it, it, was, it was fantastic so I'm really uh, um, happy to be here and we at the I think as Frontline Socialist Party we have many things to learn from you as well so we will take from there from here to there and we will uh, get that and we will try to improve our our websites as well uh, it's really happy and uh, there is another two, two three days to go and I think uh, I will get uh, more uh, things that uh, more important things in this uh, session so I'm really happy and I, I really wish uh, the MLPD to go forward and build up the people's uh, movement in, in, in the Germany to uh, go for a socialist uh, go for a socialist country and socialist revolution. Also die Fotos aus äh, Sri Lanka, wie die Massen da den Präsidentschaftspalast äh, gestürmt haben und wie sie in seinem Pool geschwommen sind, die sind ja um die Welt gegangen. Wie hat sich denn die revolutionäre Gärung seitdem entwickelt? Yeah, actually, uh, uh, yes, uh, Sri Lanka has become one of the um, well-talked uh, country um, uh, recently. And this is this not, uh, this situation didn't come up very quickly. Uh, there was a, uh, um, a problem all, all la last uh, one or two if you take last one or two years you can see heavily there was a big problem within the community so um, what people did was because they couldn't bear the pain anymore they came forward because they they have no any other choice rather than demanding and forcing the government to provide the essentials that is why people came into the streets Uh, of course, uh, it's not just uh, it's a spontaneous uh, uprising, but uh, uh, it was uh, but um, uh, the struggles that have been doing uh, in in different different sectors like students, uh, teachers, uh, and any other union activities in the last uh, decade was actually giving some influence into this as well in the back background. Mm -hmm. For example, um, there was a struggle of, of teachers for the last 24 years for raise their uh, wages, but they couldn't win. But in 2019-20, uh, they organized in tens of thousands and they won that struggle. It is not 100%, but after 24 years, they won. Okay. So most of the teachers, uh, many of them were vote, voted for this uh, existing government, but they came onto the streets and they won that uh, struggle. That I think those kind of struggles gave influence to people to uprise, rise, rise up when there is a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, but in this situation, because uh, as I explained you earlier, because of uh, shortages of fuel, shortages of cooking gas and electricity, those are essentials to just to keep going your day-to-day -day life. So that is why even middle class, working class people came onto the street and start fight, started fighting and eventually people gathered and Uh, thrown away the most powerful president in the world mm -hmm. um, so that is a huge achievement for pe people uh, in this struggle and uh, in this struggle we have uh, one big lesson to learn uh, in Sri Lanka uh, people didn't have that courage to fight and demand their uh, rights Uh, demand and win their rights but with this people have got that courage back mm -hmm. and people have the faith that they understood that when people got together we this is what we can do mm -hmm. so there is no limit anywhere 
whatever powerful regime or ruler uh, rulers are there we can if we get together we can demand our uh, uh, demand and fight and win our rights so mm -hmm. that has been uh, that lesson has been learned by the people now okay so one last thing i want to mention is that uh, we have achieved a lot win this uh, with this struggle but if we really want to win find solutions for our problems of our day to day lives we need to organize ourselves we are not organized yet mm -hmm. we just came onto the street and we show the power and we got rid of from uh, our uh, whatever whoever leaders were, you know the rulers were but now if we really want to change our lives if if you really want to have a system change mm -hmm. we should organize ourselves together and then fight that is the next step we should take and okay. we should organize for that now okay. Also wir als Arbeiterinnen und Arbeiter und als Revolutionäre müssen ja zusammenarbeiten, international und auch äh, koordiniert voneinander lernen. Was sind deine Wünsche an die internationale Solidarität aus Deutschland? Ja, yeah. uh, actually workers and uh, oppressed people have oppressed people all around the world. Uh, that's the only option or only support we have. We cannot uh, 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 expect any support from these uh, bourgeoisies and uh, ruling parties uh, all over the world so people have to uh, support people so now uh, what uh, we uh, demand from the people all around the world is uh, keep an eye on the uh, struggle in sri lanka there is a huge repression going on at this moment mm -hmm. Uh, for example, after this, uh, uh, after we uh, thrown away the existing, uh, you know, previous uh, president Gotabe Rajapaksa, he appointed somebody who has no mandate at all from the last election. He couldn't win his own seat. He was defeated. He got only 30,000 votes. Mm -hmm. And but because of the national seat, he came into the parliament. He has only one seat for his party and because he was supporting and protecting Rajapaksa family and the regime, he was appointed, he was supported and appointed as the president of the country now. So now what he is doing, because he know he, he has no mandate from the people, he has only support from the, uh, the Rajapaksa regime and uh, mm -hmm. his party me parliament members. So he is trying to do whatever they are forcing the, him to do as well. He, because he was waiting for, uh, for this position to come like for, for a number of decades. Okay. Now somehow he, he got into that. So he is trying to repress people and because he have no solutions for any of the problems that people are facing what he is doing is he is um, uh, um, deploying a repression huge repression on the general public and especially he is targeting and arresting and jailing all those people organizing were organizing in uh, people struggle movement at this moment Uh, so uh, st uh, at the beginning uh, they were abusing uh, laws such as uh, uh, public uh, property act and things like that but uh, because in uh, according to our uh, constitution mm -hmm. if you are arrested on public uh, pu property act uh, and the uh, property damage is more than 100000 uh, the judges will uh, they judges have no right uh, no uh, uh, power to bail them out so they've been abusing it but Judges were asking, uh, started asking questions from the police. This is hundreds of thousand people came onto those properties and uh, did this. How can you pick one person? So they started giving bailouts. Mm -hmm. But now they are uh, using pr uh, uh, Prevention of Terrorism Act to uh, detain prote protesters and protest organizers without uh, producing to the court for 90 days. So that is what they have started now. Sri Lanka has a bad history of abuse in this Prevention of Terrorism Act. I'm going to, not going to go for details, uh, but what I ask uh, from the uh, ask the uh, international community is there is a huge repression going on on protesters, mm -hmm. and they are um, they are detaining and torturing uh, uh, in detaining centers without producing the uh, those protesters to the courts. And you rise up, you organize, and give the support to the people in Sri Lanka and the struggle in Sri Lanka. Und jetzt die äh, Frage andersrum. Was ist deine Botschaft an die Arbeiterinnen und Arbeiter hier in Deutschland? Uh, actually, uh, not only Germany. Uh, uh, we have a message to all the, uh, especially leftist and socialist organizations all around the world, to learn from this. Because uh, uh, most of the uh, leftist organizations, what they don't, do not understand is that uh, people are rising up. Mm. But 
it is your duty, it's our duty as Marxist, as the um, uh, progressive movements to organize ourselves. We are be ready with, for that movement. Because, of, because there was a revolutionary movement in Sri Lanka, but because the left is not organized properly, we, we were not ready for that. And we are split into different, different uh, sections. So we have to somehow get together and organize ourselves and organize the uh, build up of left in a strong way. Then if we had done that, so we would have ended up with a different uh, uh, situation, if different result in this situation as well. Mm -hmm. But what the main uh, the message that I have to give to MLPD and the other organizations in the, uh, Germany and all the uh, organizations in the world around the world is organize the left and organize you know, parties, you know, uh, build up your parties. There will be situations because people who cannot bear the pain, they will come onto the road, they will start fighting. At that time, you should lead the struggle. Mm -hmm. That is the main uh, lesson that you need to learn from the struggle in Sri Lanka. Okay. Thank you so much. You have your, our international solidarity. Vielen Dank für dieses Interview. Unsere Solidarität hast du und wir werden sie weiterhin organisieren. Thank you for your